Hello YouTube, it's your boy B3 back with another kicking action figure review. Yeah, you know it. Uh, today we have our first review of Wave 3 of the Diamond Select Pacific Rim Uprising line, Valor Omega. Now I know I didn't finish Wave 2, and I'll get to them eventually, but I just bought Wave 3 recently, uh, right when it came out, my comic shop got it as soon as they could. And, um, uh, I'm really happy to have the entire Pacific Rim 2 Diamond Select collection. I do have the Kaiju as well. We'll get to that review eventually. But uh, here we have Valor Omega. Uh, pretty cool Jaeger. To be honest, I don't really remember what this Jaeger did in the movie. Was it just a Jaeger in a flashback? Was it a Jaeger at the compound that got destroyed by the drones? What, what was... What was the deal with this Jaeger? I honestly don't remember. I saw the movie once when it was in theaters, and that's it. I haven't seen it since. He comes with... Two fist hands. You know, and he also has open hands on his body. It's all good. It's all Gucci. Here we have, uh... Valor Omega herself. She's pretty cool. Uh, one of her legs is kind of stuck, doesn't really want to turn. The other one turns just fine. Uh, no real movement on the head, which seems odd. I think mine's just stuck, because I feel like the head should go side to side. Uh, but it does not. Arms rotate forward and back. You got in and out on the arm and the shoulder blade, but not a terrible amount of it. Uh, rotation on the elbow. Elbow bend. Right there. And then you got a wrist swivel. Forward and back on the wrists. And then the little arm turrets kind of move a little bit as well. You got pretty good kind of ab movement here. In and out on the legs. Forward and back on the legs. Got a bit of a rotation there too. <laughs> Mine's really stiff. You got a knee bend. Up and down on the foot. Kind of side to side as well. Articulation-wise, not the best one Diamond Select has released, but uh, the arms and stuff are a bit of an odd design. But at the same time, it's like, once again, I don't really remember what this Jaeger did. I think this Jaeger looks really cool. I love those arm turrets and stuff, but I just don't remember this Jaeger. Weird. Detail and paint is exquisite, though. Uh, the visor looks cool. I like all the brown and tan on the figure. Got the little Defense Force logos or whatever. Back of the figure fully painted up. Very nice. Bottom of the feet, etc. So let's stick Valor Omega back here. And see if we can do some size comparisons. I have many figures I want to compare today. Uh, I got them all in a stack right here. <laughs> First up, from the same line, this one's from Wave 1, though. Gypsy Avenger. They look pretty dope together, honestly. Enjoyable. Now, if you want to see it with a NECA Jaeger, here's the Wave 2 Battle Damage Gypsy Danger. So you see they're a bit bigger than the NECAs were. And if you collect the Robot Spirits Jaegers, here it is with the one, the only... Obsidian Fury. So you see, it'll scale best with its own line, as many figures do. So, Kaiju. Once again, I have not opened my Diamond Select Kaiju. You'll see how it scales in its review, more than likely. But until then, I do have the Sophie Spirits Raijin. So that's pretty neat. Ooh, let's remove that real quick. I also have the Sophie Spirits Haku, Hakuja, whatever. That's that. Now let's also compare him with some kaiju from other franchises. Of course you want to see him with the Godzilla. Here he is with the Bandai Creations 2004. Very common figure that many people have. Also want to show him with an Ultra Monster. Here is the Ultra Monster series, if the fourth form. He might be an EX, actually. Eh, whatever. He's small. This guy might look better with an Ultra Monster DX figure, like Skull Gomera here. But he's still quite big. 
quite big for your average uh, figure. It's, it is a larger scale than your average 6 inch, like this YMSF Gyra. And if you want to see him with an Ultraman, here is the Ultra Action Figure Ultraman Russo Flame. That's about figure art size also. So he's a big fig. Big fig. Uh, if you want him to scale with stuff, you're going to need some larger scale kaiju. Uh, and he scales with the Jaegers in his line just fine. Uh, and he's very, very cool. He's very, very cool. So all in all, what are my final thoughts on the Diamond Select Pacific Rim Uprising Valor Omega figure? Well... It doesn't really seem to be a memorable Jaeger, because once again, I don't remember this Jaeger. But it's a really cool figure. Uh, out of all the Diamond Select Jaegers I've opened, though, it's kind of my least favorite. That doesn't mean I don't like it, but it doesn't move as well as the others do. Because, I mean, uh, I've opened all the way of one, and Obsidian Fury, and this guy. And... He, it just doesn't hold up as well, you know? The arms barely move, the legs barely move. It just doesn't move as well as the others. So, um, if you're only going to get a couple of your favorite Jaegers, maybe pass on this one. It's just, once again, really cool. It's big, it's got great detail and paint. I don't know. I just don't. I just don't like the way it moves as much. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below: Facebook, Twitter, etc. Next time we might do the kaiju drone. So uh, be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Peace out.